I'm John Thony, and this just in. Muslims have just committed a terrorist attack in Germany. When will it be enough? These Muslims are taking over the West and they're trying to- John, John, I, we were wrong. I repeat, we were wrong. The terrorists were not Muslim. I repeat, not Muslim. <clears throat> this just in. Quite a sad story coming out of Germany today. A lone wolf mentally ill, nice little boy with a rough upbringing. He accidentally planned on hurting some folks. John, John, just abort mission, abort mission. Report nothing. This just in. There is no news today. Join us again next week on FAKE News when a Muslim will undoubtedly do something bad. Assalamu alaikum, what's going on everybody? Interesting news coming out of Germany recently. 12 German nationalists were arrested by the police for plotting mosque attacks and to kill as many Muslims as possible. Hmm, where was this in the mainstream media? But wallah wallah, had there been just one person yell Allah Akbar, you can bet your booty, that was going to be on the front page news. And of course, all Muslims would be forced to condemn the terrorist attack. But when it's non-Muslims committing terrorist attacks against Muslims, you know, there, you know there's a, there are a lot of other things to cover in the news, so just not going to mention it. In fact, this was one of the few news videos that I could even find about this terror plot. German prosecutors have charged at least 12 men for plotting well-funded armed attacks on mosques. Ten of them have been detained while one suspect is on the run. Another suspect is said to have killed himself while in police custody. The men who belonged to far-right groups wanted to kill as many Muslims as possible, quote-unquote. According to the authorities, the suspects plan to create civil war-like conditions through these mosque attacks. The suspects, who comprised 11 gang members and an accomplice met regularly. Eleven of them even pledged to contribute $59,000 to finance weapons purchase. And not only was this not covered by the mainstream media, they also would never use the word terrorist because that word is purely reserved for Muslims. It's good to know we have a monopoly on the word terrorism. And the funny thing is, everything these German nationalist terrorists did, it literally falls under the definition of terrorism. Let's check it out. Mr. Google, what is terrorism? The unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aims. So let's see if this falls under that definition. These German terrorists wanted to use unlawful violence to kill as many Muslim civilians as possible in pursuit of a specific political aim, which is to cause civil war in the country. I'm no genius, but I believe that is the dictionary definition of terrorism. But since it's non-Muslims committing these terrorist attacks, they won't get the media attention they deserve. And quite frankly, I feel kind of bad for these terrorists, man. They wanted all this attention and they got nothing. They just got me talking about it. They deserve better, like, you know, worldwide coverage. Dear white terrorists, are you tired of doing all the work and yet getting very little recognition and attention that you deserve? Are you not getting the credit for your work. Well, congratulations. Now you know what it really feels like to be brown. Also, quick side note. You know what I found hilarious yet admirable about this whole situation? These terrorists wanted to kill Muslims so bad, they actually got together and they raised almost $60,000 to buy the weapons. Now that's commitment. Meanwhile, all us Muslims in our different communities, thousands of us in a community, can't even raise a few thousand dollars to expand a mosque. Also, maybe we need to invest more in security cameras and a bunch of other security measures because there's a lot of crazy people out there trying to kill us. So maybe we'll invest in those in the mosque and at home as well. Maybe some self-defense courses. Just watching out for us. In conclusion, I think the police in Germany did a great job. The work that they did prevented these attacks from taking place and they saved countless lives. It's just very disappointing that the media continues to do a great job by keeping everyone in the dark and applying double standards. My message is to all Muslims out there, stay safe, stay vigilant, and I pray that everyone stays safe from any acts of terror. And just remember, terrorists do not belong to any one religion or one color. Their main objective is division and chaos. So let's make sure that we, as a people, don't give them 
what they want. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and share this video. Support me by subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I'm that Muslim guy. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.